Hello and welcome to the News 4 Rundown. I'm Donna Farazan. Right now, one of the nation's strictest gun control measures is being tackled in Connecticut. It comes as President Obama visits Colorado after his new restrictions. NBC's Danielle Lee has the story. There's a new type of crosswalk in Cleveland Park that has some people turning their heads. You press a button and the traffic stops. But as transportation reporter Adam Tuss explains, some say it's a bit confusing. Good evening and welcome to the News 4 Rundown. I'm Donna Farazan. Girls as young as 10 years old may soon be able to get emergency contraception without a prescription. Today, the federal judge ordered the government to remove age restrictions on the morning after pill. NBC's Leanne Gregg has the story. There's a lot going on around town this weekend, and an easy way for people to get around is by bike. Capital Bike Share is expected to break a big record this weekend. Transportation reporter Adam Tuss has the story. A DJ saves a dog from a house fire. And was Dave too harsh on Lindsay? Tonight we have crews from Hot 99.5. Good. Thanks for coming in tonight. Thanks for having me. So let's start with this DJ who saved a dog yeah. from a house fire. What's going on there? This is the greatest story ever because I think people sometimes think that DJs, we don't do anything, we just play music. <laughs> we can save lives apparently. This DJ, it was out of uh, Milford, Connecticut. It was Chaz from the Chaz and AJ Morning Show and he was driving around in a neighborhood. He saw a house was on fire and saw that there was a dog at the door and so he kicks down the door and actually saves this dog's life. It's an amazing story. So any DJs you know who are going to do this sometimes? I want to figure <laughs> out a way because it made great press for this, yeah. uh, for this morning show. So maybe I need to figure out a way to save some dogs. <laughs> Might make it more popular. Yeah. And, um, and some are saying that David Letterman was too harsh on Lindsay Lohan. Do you think she deserved it, though? Well, hey, listen, I think it's Dave a lot of times will be harsh on, on his guests, especially when he has someone like a Lindsay Lohan or a Paris Hilton. But I, I think he might, he might have crossed the line a little bit. She was on to promote her new movie, Scary Movie 5, and instead all Dave wanted to talk about was rehab. He started right in like, why aren't you at re rehab? When, when are you going to rehab? What are you going to rehab for? Are you an alcoholic? And she got pretty upset. And uh, eventually, I even ended up tearing up during the interview and, and said, I think at one point, she was like, this wasn't in the pre-interview, what are we doing? So he might have taken it just a little bit too far. He might have crossed the line. You know, I keep hearing this story over and over again about how she's going on to a show to promote herself and promote right. her career. And then all of a sudden, they talk about rehab and she's shocked. And I mean, it's... That's her life right now. Yeah, why would life you, is in the public. Why would you ever be shocked by that? It, it, every you know, tabloid we read, is it's not talking about the work she's doing. It's talking about the stuff that's going on in court or behind the scenes. Maybe stop going on shows. <laughs> right. Maybe, that, maybe right. that's the answer. Well, well, we do wish her well. Yes. And um, some drama going on about the song Thrift Shop, which yes. I happen to absolutely love. Do you love it? I, I, love, I it. love it, too. Apparently a woman in Colorado, and usually when we read these kind of crazy stories, it always comes from Florida. This is actually out of Colorado. A woman has been arrested for choking out her boyfriend for singing Thrift Shop too much. Well, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't stop. He just, they were drinking, obviously, at the time and celebrating a birthday party, and he just wanted to sing Thrift Shop, and so they went on and on and on and on, and eventually she had enough and, and choked him and has now been arrested. Wow. Yeah. So drama around the song, not about the lyrics. Right. The, the lyrics are good. The song is good. Still a, still a number one still song. still listen to it. Yes. And, and finally, MTV canceling Buck Wild. Yeah. Respectful decision? I think so. Obviously, there was the passing of uh, Shane Gandy, who's one of the stars of Buck Wild, last week. And MTV made the decision, I guess they thought about it for a week, and made the decision that even though they had some footage left, they weren't going to film anymore and they weren't going to produce any more shows and ended up canceling the show. So I think it was probably the right decision on their part. You know, and I find MTV, this happens a lot with, with some of their reality shows that, yeah, the, the, that you are know, like, like, extreme. They are extreme reality shows, and the bottom line is, you know, it's shock value. And MTV knows it's shock value. It started with the real world and obviously Jersey Shore, and there's been incident, you know, incidents uh, throughout the time that they've been doing the reality right. shows. And this kind of went a little bit too far, and I think they, they realized they needed to take a step back and, and take action. All right. Well, thank you so much, Cruz. Thanks for having me. And you can catch Cruz on week, weekday nights on Hot 995. In fact, you can tune in right now. Thanks for watching. I'm Donna Ferris and News 4.